Hi everyone, I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and Business and Personal Success Strategist at TotalGenius.net, where I help you discover your genius, which is a combination of your expertise and life experience, and build it into a profit-generating business based on your purpose. And today, I wanted to talk about something that I know a lot of my business friends are suffering with, and that's transforming your, uh, your passive audience, um, the ones who are actually paying attention to you, into paying clients. So, you know, I often hear people say, you know, I need to get clients, I need to get clients, how do I get clients? And I'm going to talk about a few simple steps that you may or may not realize uh, you need to do and that you're not doing that will help you uh, transform those, uh, those freebie learners into paying clients. So first of all, um, you know, and I often talk about this, but, uh, you know, when you try to get, go and you get clients, um, usually the things that people are teaching are, you know, you have to be more visible, you have to be confident, you, you have to just, you know, get unstuck and, and sell people. And so I'm going to tell you one thing at the base level that you need to stop doing in order to get clients. Are you ready? You, you need to brace yourself. But you need to stop spending all day trying to get clients. I know that's a little shocking, but um, when you go and you try to spend all day trying to get clients, you're, first of all, spending all day long doing something that is not working. And so what ends up happening is uh, if you go and you do that, you lose your self-esteem. You start to see people that are doing better than you. And, uh, you know, when you are on a hunt for clients, they don't seem to manifest. And I'm going to tell you why in a second. But um, so you're spending all day long in a state of lack and you're not being confident. And the one thing that or some of the things that your ideal clients need in order to uh, want to buy from you is a confident leader. Um, and they need something that would solve their urgent problem. And so I want to give you some solutions to solving this get clients um, problem. So number one, um, you need to sell something. So I know you have something on your website, you have something that you sell. But, um, you know, free is not the new black. Free is definitely essential and um, posting on social media, posting pretty pictures on Instagram, posting um, posts on, on Facebook, um, engaging with people, those things are uh, somewhat important if you do them the right way with a strategy behind them. But if you just keep doing that and you never ever invite them to, to take part in something, invite them to, um, to, you know, look at something that you're actually selling, invite them to a call, reaching out to them and, and having a conversation with them. How are they supposed to know what you even do? So this is something that I think just goes as kind of um, an unspoken uh, ritual that happens with many entrepreneurs that aren't getting clients, is that you know, you're very um, passionate about what you do. You know what you do. You look at your website every day. You know, you're, you feel like you're representing yourself every time you show up online. But the reality is, is most people's truths is that they're afraid of offending people by selling something. Uh, you're afraid to look salesy and you don't want to look sleazy. And so what ends up happening is the other side. You know, you show up and you're all happy. You're posting like great pictures and, um, you know, uh, great quotes. But there's, I'm sorry to tell you this, but there's a million of you online. A lot of people that are posting great quotes and pretty pictures. And instead of um, standing out to the people you need to stand out to, you're just blending in. 
and and they may like your your post, but um, last time I checked, like didn't buy uh, pay for my rent, and so um, you know you need to actually sell something, and you need to invite them to something, and. You don't need to do that all the time. You know, Gary Vaynerchuk uh, wrote that book, Jab, Jab, Right Hook. You know, you want to do the pretty pictures and do all the things that show who you are. So not just, um, you know, random things that don't actually speak to who you are as a person. But this is personal branding 101. You don't want to speak to everybody. You actually want to speak to your specific BBF, your best business friend. This is the the thing about like qualifying. Qualifying sounds like a very um, harsh term. You know, it's it's kind of like you know, let me qualify you so, <laughs> to, so that you can pay me money. But that's not it at all. Actually, you know, personal branding is all about qualifying because if you your personal brand is positioned correctly. That means that you actually, number one, do something unique. You know, there, Jim Rohn said there are no original business ideas, which is fine. You know, I'm a business strategist. There's a ton of business strategists out there. But nobody does what I specifically do. And how you, your personal brand should speak to you is that it should be you. It's you after you've left the room. Your website, you know, you're the words that, that you're writing, the photos that you're posting, it, it's all a strategy. And instead of, you know, if, you, if that makes you feel sleazy or salesy, salesy, I would look at it as a strategy for your life. Because if you, if you dumb this down to like, you know, this is how I, I want to operate my life. I actually want to be surrounded by people that get me. Well, then you can apply it to your business. I actually want to be surrounded. I want to be surrounded by people that get me. I want to be able to speak my truth, my knowledge in the way that I speak so I don't have to edit myself and have um, the people that I speak to get it. If, if you're a person who says the F word all the time, then maybe you should consider saying that in the right context. You know, if, if you're a person who uh, loves dogs, you know, I have a passion for dogs and saving dogs. So I often post things about my mentor who rescues dogs uh, and I post pictures of my dog. All of that is a strategy that supports your personal brand and qualifies people, um, moving them a step closer to you so that when you jab, jab, right hook, more than likely, they're the type of people that you serve. Then it's not like, you know, you're like the happy face and suddenly like, buy this. <laughs> That's why people feel sleazy and salesy is that they're not representing themselves as a business owner. You know, um, the last time I checked, uh, I didn't go into a store and think, wow, these people are so sleazy. <laughs> can't believe it. They're trying to sell me this beautiful dress. I mean, seriously. Now you're a business owner, which means that you make money by selling something. And you don't just sell anything if your business is positioned right, right? You actually solve an urgent problem for somebody, which means that you answer their prayer. You sh your business should make you go to bed every night and say, wow, I did good. Like, I, I actually helped someone. And, you know, I gave them confidence. I, you know, I gave them um, uh, security. I helped them, you know, pass their life challenge. I cleared their skin. You know, I, I saved their health. None of that is sleazy. And if your business is positioned correctly, you do that. And so, you know, that includes the words that you speak in your marketing when you speak out loud. And, you know, it's not like some... Um, it's not like some crafted thing that, you know, has to be all right. Again, if your business is positioned correctly, uh, it, it should include the words that you speak in the way that you speak it. And then it's spoken to people that get you. All those things are critical 
to you being happy in your business. Because I don't want to show up every day and have to try to be somebody else. You know, everybody that listens to me, that has been listening to me over time, knows I have a health condition. And you know why I, I speak it a lot? Because I have a health condition. <laughs> I don't feel good a lot. And it's important that the people that get me understand that. But it's also important that they know that that's why I know so much about holistic health and, and the science of the mind and positive psychology. And it's, all those things are important to, you know, the, to me, just as a person, to me as a business owner, and to know that I'm attracting the right people who value that and who value me. Okay, so I spent a lot of time on the selling something. Sell results. You know, I was just helping somebody um, last week on this, but she was all excited about the, her program that she's, she's doing. And, you know, I said, you know, what's the end goal? And, you know, she started talking about, you know, well, I'm going to sell this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do and, and I was like, no, what's the end goal for the people that are supposed to buy it? <laughs> like, what is the result that, they, that they're supposed to get? Is it confidence? You know, is it confidence so that then they can, um, they can uh, you know, talk better to their kids and, and raise them as, as healthy children? Is it um, security in knowing that their business is going to be successful and now they can make more money? Is it uh, they now know their purpose? So now that they can um, go on and do the things that they need to do in their life. You want to be talking about that like 80% of the time. Your marketing should be, you know, helping people understand that you have a solution. And then, you know, the rest of it is, uh, you know, is, is your personal branding and, and the marketing with the strategy behind it. But understand that you're here to help somebody. You know, they don't care that it's a 12-step program that, you know, they, they, that they have to, you know, do somersaults. and They just want a solution. Like, I don't know if you've ever had an urgent problem, but when my skin was really bad because I wasn't speaking uh, my voice, this is a whole nother thing, but I was holding up, holding in all of my, um, my truth, which I've now just exploded out. Look, my skin is like clear. But when it was bad and I was like having cystic acne suddenly, you don't think that I was desperately looking for a solution? Your ideal clients are looking for a solution. And so you need to understand that they're the most important person in the room. Um, so instead of you trying to be visible, how about, you know, you start um, seeing the people that are trying to get solutions. Take visibility out of it. Because I'll tell you, when you know what you do in your business, you can't shut yourself up. You will find a way to get it out there. I'm not talking about your email list or you know Facebook Live and all of that. Those things are important. But your focus is going to be so much on um, what it is that you do and who you help that you'll find a way to get it out. You know, I, I tell this story a lot, not to brag about how much I made when I first started my business, but to, to, to let you know, I had an email list of 20 people <laughs> and uh, I wasn't even sending emails. Um, you know, I, I wrote articles, but I didn't, wasn't even writing that many. Um, and, but my business was positioned correctly. I knew what I did. And when I would present it to the right people, they bought it. And so I made, you know, I, I made five figures my first month, which I think many people struggle with. And so, you know, and why I did that, maybe it was just my ignorance of, of selling online. But, you know, I, as, a, as I spent 25 years doing marketing for high-level shopping centers, you know, first of all, email didn't exist much of that time. But even when it did... I knew that that wasn't how uh, we brought people to the shopping centers and we got people to buy. We actually um, invited them to things. Like I had a kids club and, um, you know, we would have, um, we would have you know, certain things going on in, in the mall. I would invite them to activities that had to do with them. So, you know, we had um, uh, community arts with the local children's museum. 
because their children were important to them. We didn't sit there and say, we have the prettiest, you know, clothes here and you can... I focused on uh, what, what was important to them. And so, you know, it's not that you need to be more visible. It's that you need to understand who you serve so well that, you know, y- your marketing, it, it, it shouldn't be brain science. It should be, you know, you understand because, you know, you understand that problem. Not because it's something outside of you, but if your business is positioned correctly, it's based on you, the problems that you solve, that your expertise and life experience specifically solve. Getting passionate about this. Okay, wait. Um, uh, The third thing is, is that um, you may be acting more as a friend rather than a trusted advisor. So there is a very subtle difference between a friend and a trusted advisor. A friend, you know, I love my BBFs. I love them. And they actually, you know, I, I think of them in my head as, you know, being their friend. But when I'm communicating as a friend, I make it very clear, you know, can I give you advice as a friend? But when I'm communicating as a trusted advisor, you know, I'm communicating as a trusted advisor. That means that I have their best interest in mind. If I'm not the person for them, I will tell them. If I can help them, I will tell them. If I have a solution or like a video like today to do, then it's my job to communicate the information that I know. It's your job to communicate the information that you know. So as a trusted advisor, you should be looking for solutions to not just the thing that you sell, but to other issues. You know, I don't sell get clients, <laughs> but I'm, I want to share this with you because it's important for you to get clients. So, you know, this video is, um, you know, I'm not sitting there going, well, I just launched a new program. I am going to say that at the end, you know, that's the one solution, but I'm trying to help you understand a, a, a situation so that you can take this information and go apply it to your business now. You don't have to buy from me to go buy, to, to apply this. So you should be doing the same thing for your clients. What else are they suffering from? Are they suffering from their screaming kids? Are they suffering from a health issue and you teach something else and you know the answer? All those things are important. When you know the answer to something, it's probably something, and, and, and you're not teaching it, it's probably something that should be applied to your marketing strategy. Again, you know, that word strategy is very important. You don't randomly come up with marketing things, and it's not about sending an email every week. This is about providing solutions for people. It's just like if you, if you, if you really want to, like, um, convert it. I, I love using shopping center experiences or, or um, examples. So, because, you know, with my, all these years in it. So, you know, when you go to, like, um, Let's say uh, Zara, my favorite store. You know, their, their primary income is, uh, you know, their high-level brand. Actually, no, it's probably their mid-level brand. Um, and so they, they have a lot of it. Like, it covers the entire top floor. And then, you know, their, their upper-level brand covers, like, a, about a half of their lower floor. And then they have some accessories, but they don't make their money on the accessories, but they, but they have things that solve the problems for people, and they sell shoes. So, you know, they, you can go and leave Zara with a complete outfit, but they make their primary income on, like, one specific thing in their, of their store. So you should look at your business that way. You know, you have a certain amount of free, free things that, you know, like... It's like the banner in the window of Zara and the experience that they provide. You know, they're salespeople. And then, you know, you, you may have like some lower priced items that people can, uh, you know, buy if they're not ready to like pay your higher amount. And then you have your main line, which is going to, you know, where they, they could buy something 
and wear it and it be like, you know, the most fabulous top that goes with the jeans that they already have. Did you like that example? I really I love my shopping center examples. Okay. So let's see. So you want to be their trusted advisor and not their friend. I mean, use those in context. Uh, the, the fourth thing is, is that, um, you aren't transforming your passive audience into paying clients because you're too busy looking for paying clients. <laughs> you see, uh, you have paying clients now. They just haven't exchanged money for you. If they are tuning into your videos, uh, watching your webinars, reading your posts, it means that they actually have a problem. They have a problem they see your value, but you may not be selling what they really want, or you, they may not even know what you sell because you're too scared to mention it, or um, you, know, you haven't solved the other issues that are going on that's blocking them from actually taking that next step. So you have an audience, and investment actually goes two ways. You know, it's like um, when you leverage something, you, you have to go and you put money in a, in, a, um, in a savings account in order for it to then grow. And so if you go and, and you, you don't put money into your clients, but you put uh, what's the equivalent of money, which is knowledge. Just like today I'm doing this live stream, um, you want to be sharing with them valuable information, letting them know you've got their best interest at heart. You're the trusted advisor. I'm looking out for you. I want you to go and get clients even before you pay me. You may never even pay me, but I appreciate your attention. And so I'm going to share my knowledge with you. That's a trusted advisor. That's not sleazy selling. Um, and the more that you do that, so remember success is a delayed mirror. That means that all the goodness that you're putting out to today may not turn into anything tomorrow. It may not turn into anything in two weeks. It may not turn into anything in a year. I, I had a client who um, I think I've known her for two years or since I started my business. And she just, uh, you know, she just became my client. Two years. So you don't know when that's going to happen. It didn't stop me from sharing information. It didn't stop me from communicating with people. Um, so this is, I, I call this NATO, N-A-T-O, no attachment to the outcome. Your job is just to get your goodness out because you're so passionate about sharing. You know, I like to um, transform the way that I think about my business as you know, it's my purpose. So, you know, it's not about being selfish and focusing on myself, but it's about being so obsessed with um, the thing, what, what I do and how I do it and how it helps people rather than trying to be visible, trying to be seen, trying to prove myself to others, trying to, you know, um, outdo the competition. I don't, I don't focus on that. Because that's not what, number one, is going to make me successful. Number two, make me happy. Um, and number three, uh, that's not even how you get clients. <laughs> so uh, this, the fifth thing is, is um, and I, I wrote an, I'm writing an article about it, but it's um, limiting it. So, you know, I'm sure you've heard of the law of scarcity. It's one of the... Um, the six, six things that influence people and it influences, influences their decisions. And it's not because, you know, you're like, I'm some sleazy salesman. Scarcity is actually, um, when you value it, it, you value your work so much and you value the people that you share it with that you know that it's the human condition for people to procrastinate. And because you know you have a solution for them, you have to limit the time. You have to 
um, you know, limit the time, raise the price, whatever, because you know you have a solution and, uh, and you know that you're valuable. And when you take it away, you don't have to take it away for good. You can bring it back later. You can raise the price on it. But you understand that people need that to make a decision. Now, I know this is like a very um, weird way to think, but it's the way the human brain works. So if you're really trying to help your ideal clients, you understand that you know, we're driven by our fear brain. So it's not that you want to like bring fear to them, but you want to you heighten urgency because you solve an urgent problem. So you want to get them to their solution faster. It's a very, it's a very hard concept. And it actually took me a while to actually put it into play. But the step between knowing something and then taking that first step is monumental for, for the results of your business. You know the basics. Like I'm sure you have studied, you know, how a successful business is run, all this, and you may know these things, but actually putting it into practice um, steps you up in your own mind to a different level. It actually, uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's just such a difference. It's like being a surfer and just like belly boarding to the point where you decide, you know what, I'm going to stand on this wave and I may fall, but I'm going to get right back up again. Launching to a next phase in your business is hard. Launching to a next phase in your life is hard. And every time you do that, you're going to have to make an uncomfortable move. And all those things are based on the trust that you build within yourself. And every time you make that move, you build trust with yourself. So you may not be ready to do that now, but understand that that's what life is. You know, um, you can live the most, what you think is a safe life, but in actuality, you know, um, I'm just going to introduce a different truth and you may think this is negative, but I actually think that it's exciting is that we're all going to the same place in the end. We're all going to die someday. And if you, you know, looking at it from that point of view, like from the end to where you are now and saying, you know, if that is, you know, my destiny eventually, I would like to say that I took risks, that I took chances and, you know, did what I could to experiment and have fun rather than worrying because there is no um, secure, there is no safe choice because even in the safest choices I'm sure that you've seen, uh, you know, sometimes they don't turn out as good. You can't predict the future. So, um, you know, just understand that, sorry, this is kind of going a little off topic of business, but uh, every step that you take um, that is a little scary for you, fear is a guide to your success. I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, so the number one thing to transform your passive audience into paying clients it is uh, that you need to actually sell something that they need. And I know, I know, you sell something and you think it's what they need. But if they aren't buying it, they're not paying you the amount that you want, um, you know, you're getting clients, but it's like one in a blue moon, you may not have, and you're doing everything else I named, you may not have what they actually need. And that's kind of a hard truth you know, because you gun ho, maybe you spent money on, on you know. Well, no, I really, it's, but, but uh, if, if, you're, if your livelihood is dependent on your business and what you sell and making success of it, and you're not able to do that now, um, you need to discover why. And, you know, I believe that when you sell something that is, aligned, you know, I, I use the word position, positions, but I'm going to say aligned to what it is that you are meant to do. It's based on you, your purpose, your cause. 
and it's aligned with uh, who, and you understand who it is that you serve, so who needs that, then you understand all the, the factors that it takes to build a successful business that you need to build a, so, you know, this is not about doing everything, being everywhere, but you particularly need to reach those particular people with what it is that you particularly do. When all of that is aligned, you will make the money that you need and want. You will be able to, and you know why? I'm going to tell you why. You will have the confidence inside of you to do the things necessary, to take the risks, to, to be the trusted advisor um, because you have the inner knowing. So, you know, you could have a business that is exactly like, like you know, Marie Forleo or somebody else. But if you don't have that inner knowing, you're not going to be successful. And if your business is not based on you and you're trying to be Marie Forleo, you're not going to be successful either. You know, life is trying to happen for you. And you were given your life, your life challenges, your expertise, all that experience. You were given that for a reason. And that was so that you could help other people. To me, that's, that's the purpose of our life. That when you discover um, what your greatest challenge is, the ones that tore you down, and that you had the strength to overcome and found solutions for, that you can take that and then align it with your expertise, whatever it is that you do, um, and then help somebody, help answer somebody else's prayer. I think that that's um, the true gift of life. Because at the end of, I know, my life, I want to say that I helped people, that my life had meaning, that all those hard times, that every day when I wake up and I have such a hard time with my health, that it's, it's for a reason and that it's my job to share it with people. When you have that inner knowing inside of you, you will attract the people you're meant to serve. You will get your information out there and you will make the money you deserve. Stop trying to force yourself to be visible, force yourself into situations that make you feel icky. That's not what true success is regardless of the amount of money that you make. And just uh, getting people to pay you, if it's not fulfilling for you, and, and you don't feel like you're changing lives, may feel sleazy, and you may not be getting you know, the, what you want. And you may just get random people dropping by who you know, want to pay you money. There's such an excitement to, you know, rather than sitting there going, what am I going to do for my marketing? Oh my God, I have to send an email out today. To waking up and saying, oh my God, I just learned this. I'm going to challenge myself and teach it. It's like fun to take risks. And I know that sounds really weird if you haven't. But like I said, it's kind of like, um, I don't know if you ever, I, I jumped off a cliff in Hawaii once. It's the scariest thing that I've ever done and into like water, which I'm afraid of water. Um, and after you do it, it's kind of like, oh my God, I want to go do that again. Like when I, in my master your money code 30 day challenge, uh, the first time, like if you, if people didn't do at that time, it was like Periscope. If you had never done live video and then the first time you do it, like people are like scared out of their, out of their mind. And then once they start speaking, it's like addicted, like you, you can't stop. That's what happens when you challenge fear. When you move past a place of, um, of, of lack of trust of yourself, of being afraid of, you know, that you won't be able to handle the results. I, I always tell people, I, I was lucky. Um, I was forced to, uh, to face my truth with my health condition. I was forced this morning to go do it again. And it's not a pretty sight. It wasn't easy. And um, some days it's really hard. But every day 
if I don't do that, then I'm not able to stand in front of you like I am right now and speak. And uh, to me, doing those hard things, now I can go to bed and say, I did good. And when you can do those hard things in your life, in your business, um, whatever it is, you'll find uh, life happens for you. Your business will happen for you. Things will, opportunities will come up. You'll change your frame of mind from a place of scarcity into a place of abundance. You know, I don't use that word very often, but that's kind of what it is. You know that you have abundant gifts inside of you. I don't use that word at all. It's really weird, but <laughs> that you are limitless inside of you. And that when you push yourself, may not be easy, but it gets easier over time. And, you know, it's kind of like um, if when you're working out. And it's like the first day is like, oh my God, like my legs are going to fall off. Then the next day, you know, it's like, oh, my legs still hurt. And then, you know, after two weeks, you're like, I am so proud of myself. Look at that muscle forming. It's kind of like that. It's, it's not going to be easy making that decision. The, and, but the thinking, overthinking, is the worst part. Overthinking literally tears you down. Taking that first step is actually the easier step than overthinking. And then the rest is like, it's a process. And when you find that goal, that golden moment, you know, where everything is like just working out, you know that then the next time it doesn't work out, because there will always be a next time, you know you can trust yourself. And then you launch your next step. That's just the way that life is designed. So anyway, <laughs> I hope that that has taught you six ways that you can get clients, get your, um, get your uh, passive audience to buy from you. And, you know, as I talked about in this video, it was about positioning. And today actually is the last day that you can get the position to sell a uh, personalized study system for um, the price that, that it's at. You get, uh, let's see, a deep dive workbook. It's about 50 pages of an interactive workbook that will, um, that will bring out what your positioning is, what your unique positioning is, and your positioning strategy. Then you get a two-hour session with me because I think the number one problem with courses, number one, people don't finish them, and number two, you don't know what to do with it. So you're going to be working with me. We're going to build out your, your marketing and positioning strategy as well as create your evergreen webinar or teleclass or whatever system it is that you're going to use as your marketing vehicle. But it has, it, it's going to be evergreen so that you can have a selling system do the heavy lifting for you. You'll get the um, guide to high converting copywriting secrets. Um, uh, let's see. What else? Um, you get a uh, Facebook three-hour intensive Facebook Ads Mastery course um, taught by Phil Gluting, who is amazing. You know, my, my ads were converting at um, 30%. Uh, and uh, let's see, what else? Um, and you get an extra session with me to actually write your webinar and your sales page um, and apply this, the things that you learn in the high converting copywriting secrets. Because, uh, again, you know, the problem with most courses is that you don't know how to apply it to your own business. So I want you to learn how to become your own genius copywriter, what words are important, how to structure things, so that when you go and you present and, you know, you do anything, speak out loud, write anything, you'll understand how to position it so that it understands how the brain works. So if you get um, it before it closes tonight, uh, you will get it, all of that, for $5.97 or two payments of $3.25. So it's August, um, I don't know what day it is. I think it's August 21st right now. So uh, uh, anytime after that, the price is going to go up. So, you know, I would take a look at it. It's at positionedtosell.totalgenius.net. I would take a look at it and see if it applies to you. Because I'll tell you, the best investment you can make is on your solid foundation. It's not on you know, learning some something that you can Google, like how to build an email list, how to, you know, all those tactical things um, don't help develop you. 
And if you do one thing, and it's even if you don't invest in me and you just invest in somebody else, invest in building and understanding who you are and how you apply to your business and how to attract people based on you. That will be the best investment that you will ever make in life, in business, anything. So uh, thank you, Brandy. Um, I, you know, I would go and rewatch this because it's, I don't know, I, I, I shared a lot of truth bombs in there. So have a great night, everyone. I got to go. It's, it's late here tonight, and I'll see you this week. Bye.